In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a Facebook pixel and later we're going to install this piece of code and put it onto your website. And this is imperative because this is how Facebook is able to track the visitors and the data that's going on your website and that would contribute to your conversions campaign. So for every action taken, whether it's a purchase or sign up or uh, add to cart or anything like that, that is exactly how Facebook can track the data and send it back to your ads manager. So let's uh, suspend all the gig talk over here and just get down to doing it, all right? It's rather simple really, despite what I'm telling you right now. So what we're gonna do is that we're now in your business manager account and we're gonna go to events manager. Okay, so it's on the left, click on events manager. Now, if you're seeing this for the first time, I'm using another account by the way, so it's rather a bit established somewhat, but if you're doing this for the first time, you're gonna see absolutely nothing here at all. It's gonna be a blank slate, all right? So what you wanna do is, on the left menu here, you'll click on this green plus icon called connect data sources. So don't worry about the gig talk and all that, okay? So just follow me step by step on this. Now I have to say that before this video was recorded, adding a Facebook pixel used to be uh, a step simpler, but not to worry, it is still quite easy to do it, all right? Just with a bit of changes. So with that said, I want you to select web, click on get started, and you will select Facebook pixel and click connect. Now you're gonna give a name to a pixel, which again, you can give it any name you want, only you can see it and if you don't like the name you can always change the name afterwards now for the purpose of this example i'm just going to name it after a website that i will be adding this pixel to all right so i'm just going to call it shopodium co you can call it any name you want and over here you're going to add in your website url although it says it's optional you can still put in your website and if you're asking can i put this same pixel on multiple websites that is still okay so i'm just going to go ahead and do this right now Okay, this is just an example. This will be your own website, and then we'll click on continue. And yes, we're done. Okay, so what happens here is that we have already created a Facebook pixel somewhere in the background. Um, I created this thing called Shopodium Co. And you might want to take note of the ID here. So at this point, we're going to add the Facebook pixel to your website. Now, this is where it gets a little bit open-ended because this really depends on uh, what kind of website you're using. So I'm gonna just use, for the purpose of example, WordPress. Uh, one in every four websites on the internet is using WordPress, so this is quite a common uh, plugin. So if you're using WordPress, you will just click on this, okay? If there are any other integrations, let's just see what else that's available. We'll click on select another integration, and they are other uh, partner integrations you can choose from. So if you're using Shopify, which is a very popular e-commerce platform, you can also click on uh, Shopify and also follow the steps.